Hey, Rooters, Slug here. Uh, following is a, a quick little video with a few tips on using the Root Ultimate Collection. In addition to all the official Leader Games content, Root Ultimate Collection also boasts over 35 fan-made factions, over a half dozen fan-made maps, several fan-made decks, some scenarios to change up gameplay, and a whole bunch of extra tools and goodies made and loved by the Root community at large. It even includes the unofficial Add Set Draft tool, which will walk you through the steps of the new advanced setup currently being developed by Leader Games, and have you playing a two to six player draft game in mere minutes with only a few clicks of the mouse. Let's get started. Tip number one. There's a lot in this mod. For the best results, make sure that all players have their image caching turned on and let everyone load all the components fully before getting started. Especially as a player, if this is your first time loading the mod, your computer needs a time to get all of the assets in there. And the use of all the cameras, it's also a good idea to load the mod once all players have joined the server. Once everyone's in, reload the mod if you've already loaded. And this will give players access to all the various cameras that have been set up with the game, and especially with streaming in mind. Spacebar is your main view. Cameras one through six, shift one to shift six, will provide you with a close-up of each player's play area, starting from the southeast corner and going clockwise. Spacebar, camera zero, will take you back to your main view and shift Seven will also give you the full view from the opposite side of the table. For streaming purposes and to get close to the action, we recommend camera eight, shift eight. That will give you a close up view of the map, third person, as well as top down perspective. Camera nine will provide you with a close-up view of the shared menu, where players also have access to the many maps, decks, setup scenarios, rules, and tools of the game. If you've already selected a map or deck, don't worry, you can always change it. By pressing the button, the existing map and deck will be replaced with another. If you don't like the way the clearings are randomly dispersed, you can always click the button again and redistribute the clearings. While the Winter Lake and Mountain map all feature randomized clearing arrangements. In the Learn to Play guide, you can access a balance setup for both the lake and mountain map if you're just learning to play. The winter lake and mountain map also all feature special rules, which will appear on a card to the left of the map that will guide you through the additional rules when using the variant maps. When it's time to select your faction, you'll need to have a player color before choosing. And the faction you choose will not be indicative of the color you have. The color needs to be selected first. If you select orange, you can select the cat, you can select the birds. Your player color will still be orange, even though you have chosen the birds. This is because of the many fan factions in place and for a wider variety of freestyle games. Select green, select the alliance. Green will be your color as the alliance. Choose purple, choose cabal. Cabal is now purple. Root Ultimate Collection uses multi-state ruins. To prevent anyone accidentally seeing what the ruin is before they're meant to, instead of having the items located underneath the ruins, the ruins are also the item. When you explore a ruin, press the 2, and it will reveal the item that it is. When you load each map, it randomizes where the items are located. This way, you won't know where an item is until you actually explore it. The faction boards will spawn quest cards and multi-state ruins with both Vagabonds. When playing a freestyle game as two Vagabonds, it will be important to unlock and erase one of the quest boards and quest decks and multi-state ruins and distribute the other set of multi-state ruins 
on the map. When the container of multi-state ruins spawns with the Vagabond, they will be randomized. So you can just pull them out and place them. You won't know where they're going. When using the scripted draft tool, this will not happen when choosing two Vagabonds. The first will spawn with the quest deck, and the second will spawn with a multi-state rune. Also important to notice that where your hand is, if you have the same player color and select a new faction with the same color, it will move your hand, erasing the original and placing it in a new location. You also find a lot of tools created by members of the root community, and those are available to spawn and use with the game. Many will spawn in a set location, and some will spawn in the drop zone located on the east side of the table. Now let's get to the unofficial ad set draft because it is definitely something special. Clicking the button will erase everything on the table, and here each player will join the roster, and a card will show up on the image of the table showing how many players are in the game. The two-player game. We can check the roster to check which participants have joined. Again, if you haven't clicked the Join button, you can still spectate the game. There are a few fan maps to choose from, but if you select a random map, it will only select from the official Leader Games maps, Autumn, Winter, Lake, and mountain. And the same goes for the decks. While there are a few fan-made decks available, random will only allow you to select from the base deck and exiles and partisans. Images will appear next to the little mock-up table, what the game you have in store for you is, and it'll give you a few options if you'd like to include them in the game. Would you like to include the hireling? Would you like to include the print and play of the warlord, lord of the hundreds? or the Keepers and Iron the Badgers. Let's add them all and start the draft. The two-player game, you can select red factions only, or are we feeling adventurous? Bring it on. It'll randomly select hirelings and place them in the drop zone. As you can see, we have the Force Patrol, which automatically spawns in each clearing on any of the maps. At this time, the last player in turn order should set up the hireling if it's required. You'll see that the players who join the roster have each been assigned a random player card in a two-player game, second player, and first player. First player is in turn order, which means it'll be the second player who drafts their faction first. Because the Corvids are a white card, their card is flipped and locked and cannot be selected until a red faction has been selected. I feel like the Lord of the Hundreds so I'm going to choose that as my faction, thus unlocking the Corvus for the first player. Because I have to choose my homeland first, there's a second step and a next button for me and me alone to press once I have set up my faction. The card is in my hand. If I need help, I'll place my VP marker, and I'll press the next button as I've completed setup. If you are an advanced player, you can always go ahead and hit the next button right away and let the next player go. Just remember to let them choose their homeland first before you go ahead. Your S, my partner in crime, is selecting the Corvids. Here we draft our hands. We have to return cards from our hand until we have three in hand. This is TTS, so sometimes there's the odd little glitch that happens. If you encounter something, talk to your fellow players about it. Here I've noticed that it looks like I don't have the right number of cards, but he can see them on his end, so he just popped it up for me. If you do notice specifically glitches uh, while using the mod, definitely feel free to contact us on the Woodland Warriors, see what we can do about it. Again, TTS is far from perfect. You'll push the button, and that will start the game, set the turns, and change our colors to be associated with our factions. The two-player game, there is no dominance card, and the deck has spawned without dominance cards in it. He's decided to craft a bag. I've decided to go to rules and tools and grab the mini mood manager and set that up on my board. So from Slugface Killa and S, we hope that you enjoy the Root Ultimate Collection and all that it and the Root community has to offer. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always find us on the Woodland Warriors Discord. Thank you and enjoy.